Welcome back to Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil, Burning Dog fans. Last time, we rescued Paige, found out he was dead, and then Jade accidentally brought him back to life with some kind of mysterious power she apparently has. I don't understand hey, it. Wait a minute! That's the Beluga! He managed to get the old girl up and running! Hell yes, we did. I hardly had anything to do. You must have spent a lot of time on her. I don't understand it any more than you guys do, but, uh, I'm happy he's back either way. I wonder if we can fly back down to Hillis and, uh, pick up, uh, yeah, the latest issue of the Iris, uh, word. No, don't do that. Wait, really? This is a thing we can do? Double H, the stellar motor isn't responding anymore. I'm switching back to the regular motor. That was our ticket back to Hillis. We have no other choice now. Head for the moon. Okay. Nice of you to uh, let me try, though. Let's go save those kids and all those other people. Yes, sir! That's a laser. Oh, Christ. The one time an action roll would come in most handy. That's another one right there. That's a pretty big transmitter, all right. Oh man, there's a fucking trolley to get there. Space train! Hello? <laughs> Hello, miss. I've been commissioned by Mr. de Castellac. I don't know if that's a word in any language or not. I don't know if that's, like, part of the, uh... cover-up. If it's a, like a play on something, if it, means, if it means Iris in another language. I do know that his finger is clearly clipping through his sleeve, and they really should have caught that. This war is a catastrophe for us all. Mr. de Castellac would like to entrust a very delicate mission to you. If you accept, please make your way as soon as possible to the ancient mine on Black Isle, located on the other side of town. Oh, that's the, uh, the island of the volcano on it. Hmm. Having completely understood the enormous risks involved, Mr. de Castellac plans to reward you generously. See you soon. Space is kind of freaking out. Those little flashes there are what the uh, graphics issues look like when I'm not recording. Only smaller and less obtrusive. Uh, the most notable one is that sometimes I get a copy of Jade's polygons without any textures on them. A little skeleton model floating uh, in the air behind her. Oh. Control of the long range transmitter? That's incredible! I work as fast as I can. Hang in there. I give it a 50 50 chance that she betrays us right now. Just saying. 
So how are the kids? Here. Hmm. Quickly. If the population revolts, the alpha sections will surely try to flee. K5 H7. Oops. Let's go all the way around. Transmitter alignment. I'm not doing this. Okay, enter data. It's up to you now, Jade. Okay. Not recognized. Protected system. Blocking. Ten. They're blocking the controls. Nine. Eight. No problem, Oye. I take care of that. Six. Amigos, Segundo el Magnifico is going to show you who is the best. Two. One. System blocked. Nice job, Magnifico! More like Secundo El Major Screw-Up, King of the Cretans, Pope of Silencio, the Silencio, my little piglet. Look. Opening system data. Hello, General Secundo. At your service. I have una amiga who would like to broadcast a little report. Set up an alignment on 21.3, por favor, mia bella. Yes, sir, General. Hmm. Data loaded. Broadcasting. ...has reared its ugly head on your planet. With help from those traitors from the Iris Network, our enemy, the Doms, have broken through our protective borders and infiltrated your city. Enough is enough. Amigos! Señores, señoras, y of course, señoritas. Keep open your eyes, sir, si tutti quanti. I'm not going to be wasting your time with big speeches. I'm just wanting to show you the whole big picture. Los Alpha Section are traitors, banditos, impostors, rascals, wooden nickels. Look at these photos that we have taken. The Alpha Sections are the accomplices of the Dom's forces. The Alpha Sections are the ones who've been kidnapping the Hillians and taking them to the Dom's. Once the victims arrive on the moon, they're drained of all their energy and die. Since the beginning, we've been manipulated and deceived. Stop listening to the lies that the Alpha Sections are telling you. <laughs> the kids are still on the Dom's base. We have to go back for them. For the time being, we'd better evacuate the sector. Nice strategy, soldier, but a bit late. Goodbye. Auto destruction procedure engaged. Ah, oh, hell. There in one minute. Quick, 
simple email. The truth has finally been revealed by our trustworthy colleagues from the Iris Network. The Hillian people have joined forces to drive the Alpha sections out of Hillis. Once again, the honorable journalistic profession was able to show that it had a preponderant role in the history. The Iris Network terrorists have been spreading slander against the Alpha sections. The so-called photographic evidence that have been appearing in their underground newsletter are nothing more than elaborate fakes. What a bootlicker. I hope he dies. Oh, good. Another one of these things. Eat a dick! I don't know how I'm supposed to dodge that one. What? Now up is down and down is up. I have to stay on this side. Can't aim in a different direction either. I can't even get a lock. Oh. Oh, okay. That works. That's the trick. Stay out of it in the first place. That's helpful. Fuck you. Oh, fucking canyon. Okay, infiltrating a giant robot spider. Honestly, uh... Oh, just a moment. Alright, I looked it up. It was uh, HeckJ12345, who 
commented, remember the giant robot on the episode where I was approaching the uh, slaughterhouse. But honestly, when I saw that, I just assumed uh, that it meant it was going to be the boss of the slaughterhouse. Which in retrospect, there wasn't really a boss fight to the slaughterhouse level at all. It's not... Oh, fuckers. So let's not walk into that, except then it changed sides. I didn't know it did that. Huh? Alert! Oh. Alert! Okay. Okay. No. Fuck, as long as that guy keeps facing me. Oh no, look at that, I've gotten all my health back. Close, but no cigar, fuckers. I am genuinely disappointed he didn't get to see that Paige is still alive. That would have really pissed him off. Oh. I only have f five pictures, really? What the hell were those? Anyway, I only found those once. Still, it's a Kodak moment. Oh, yeah, there's the uh, beluga out there. We have to get back to the base. All the prisoners are still in there. I was glad to see it was only the transfer to the blue up and not the base. Cause I was thinking, oh, is there someone else still alive? No, there's no one left. See, if I heard that, I would just assume, oh, she murdered someone. I mean, I wouldn't say anything, but that's what I'd be thinking. Fuck the alpha sections, man. Or the doms, I guess I should say. They brainwash people to serve as their soldiers. They kidnap... They kidnap innocent people, including children, in order to, uh... prolong their lives. You know, I had wondered why they were still selling pods at the, uh... at the store next to the landing site. Your ugly children will never see your face again. Oh, Christ. Oh, no, wait, their pilots are rubber brainwashed, too. 
So it's probably for the best, since they're not really human anymore. Put them out of their misery. There you go. The nice thing about killing brainwashed evil people <laughs> is that none of their actions are really their fault. We're sending them to heaven. <laughs> Not quite you. There's that pod. Oh. Sweet. Oh wow, no loading screen. That's actually really impressive. Well, I'm Burning Dog Face and this motley crew and I We'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil, when we set out to save those kids and, uh, get ourselves a happy ending. Later.